I think it really starts with the, and I've alluded to it before, it starts with us viewing not our end of life stuff at our homes as resources that need to be recovered and can be recovered. And not only can be recovered for economic value, um, but should be recovered for economic value, job creation, et cetera. But it also needs to happen in a responsible way. If we want to create uh, jobs and economic development in our countries and recover our own resources, we need to apply the same rules in our country of how we manage our resources or waste and life resources. Uh, as uh, it, it, if we're going to trade them, they need to have the same. Uh, we need to apply the same rules and regulations. And let me give you an analogy to that. Um, we there was a big uproar recently with uh, the thought that Apple was having its products made in uh, less than desirable conditions. And years ago, Nike faced the same issue with sweatshops, and so did other manufacturers. A huge uproar in how our stuff was made, and we wanted our stuff made responsibly. How our stuff is unmade is much more complicated, and if it's unmade uh, in inappropriate ways, can be much more harmful to the individuals doing the unmaking and much more harmful to the local ecosystems where that unmaking or material recovery or energy recovery is taking place. So if we care about how our stuff is made, we should even care more about how our resources are recovered at end of life. And if we start taking those types of positions, if people owning our resources, and we've given, we're, we've given as citizens our ownership of our resources at end of life, typically to our municipalities to manage. And the way they've managed it is typically signing a one-stop-all, one-cover-all hauling contract with a, with a service provider. And that service, it's up to the service provider to determine what to do with those resources and how to treat those resources. If we want a more holistic look and a more responsible look at how we deal with our end-of-life resources, and I believe economic fallout from that, positive economic fallout from that uh, change in, in policy or change in attitudes, uh, then we need to have our communities, the people that we've given, we've handed our resource responsibility over to, we need to have them take more responsibility for how those resources are recovered.